Hi you guys, thanks again for clicking that button and coming to my channel. Um, this is going to be a story time and this is a real life story and I want to bring more to my channel um, so I do want to put myself out there in life experience. My channel is basically about um, me on an everyday life and things that surround me, things that happen to me, things that I'm doing within my life. Um, time because for the, a woman that may come across my video uh, I just want to give you guys encouragement and just tell you guys my story so um, backtrack to two years ago when I was pregnant with Halo um, I think I might have been about four months pregnant with Halo at the time and I went to the doctor um, but prior to that no prior to that let's say around two months or whatever when I found out I was pregnant no, or three months when I found out I was pregnant and my doctor at the time was just concerned because I was 34 Okay. Yeah, I think 34, y'all. <laughs> I was like 35 years old. But anyway, um, yeah, so my doctor was really, really concerned about me and my age. Um, that something was going to be problems. I was going to have problems. So without doing any tests right off the hand, she had sent me to a more... I don't know if he was more... Uh, Anyway, he just been a doctor for a very, very long time. And they wanted to consider me as a high risk. So I'm like, okay, high risk. My test is okay. Everything is okay. Like, why am I high risk? So I went to this other doctor to go see him. And they did tests. They ran tests on me. Um, took measurements um, of my stomach, um, blood work, all that great stuff. So when I went in and talked to the doctor, he said, well, what's up? Tell me why you're here. I'm like, I don't know. You tell me. They sent me here, so I'm assuming that you know. And he said, okay, well, let's look. So he looked on the computer, looked at my chart. He was like, oh, okay, you know, well, we're going to run the test. Um, he was like, well, how old are you? And I told him 34. He said, well, I don't understand the real reason why you're here. Um, this is for more or less people that have more than one baby. Um, women that are older that they send them to me all those great things so I'm like okay he said but I'm still gonna check you out uh, watch you through you out your pregnancy okay fine whatever so I think around four going on five months I did do the blood work um, the lady measured my stomach all that great stuff and so then they told me to come back in once they got the results so I went back in to see the doctor. He said, well, let's discuss it. He went on his little chalkboard and went on to say, okay, this is these numbers. All these numbers that I don't know crap about, you guys, mind you. It was just like, wah, 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 Okay. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. What's the deal? What's the deal? What's going on? Um, Halo Father and I both was like, okay, wh what is it? You know, he said, well... With your readings, um, your baby might have Down syndrome. So I'm like, whoa, okay. And he went on to explain what Down syndrome is and all this great stuff. How would it affect my life and how would it affect the baby and all this. He was like, but oh, she just, the baby just going to have a little bit, a little bit. What's a little bit of Down syndrome? Somebody please tell me. Either you have it or you don't, okay? Oh, he's like, oh, it's just going to be a little bit, but you're not going to even notice. I'm like, okay. So at this time, I'm stressed out to the max, okay? Because I'm like, I need to now, I was thinking that I was going to go back to work. But at that time, I was automatically, I'm not going to work. I got to take care of my baby. I'm focus on my baby. Nothing else. My baby needs me. Everything was just blocked out. I was just worried about 
Halo at that time before her name wasn't even Halo. My baby, my unborn baby in my stomach. And y'all, when I tell you it caused so much stress in my life, I was stressed to the max from that point on. I was having high blood pressure and everything. But anyway, the doctor is like, well, we have this test we would like to run on you. Um, it's that test where they stick the needle in you and they draw out the am well, how is it the amniotic fluid. And this helps us know what type of Down syndrome or all this type of stuff. And I said, okay. And at that time, I'm crying. So... Then it went on to, he was telling the dad, he was like, well, then he started talking to him, you know, and he was like, hey, I don't care. We just worried about the baby. Then the doctor said, well, you guys to get money for her. And I was like, I don't give a damn about no money. I'm just worried about the baby. He's like, well, all the government will pay you, blah, blah, blah. He said, look, it's not about the money. It's about the baby. What can we do to help the baby? Is there anything we can do? So at this time, I'm sitting there and I'm crying. And then I have to get a hold to myself and I'm like look you want to do this test my question to you is is it gonna help my child is it gonna help my child not be down syndrome he was like no I said well what's the use of doing this damn test well, oh we just need to see you need to see what you didn't already tell me my child was going to be have down syndrome if you going in with this needle which mind you, and this is why I want to do this video for mothers out there. My thing is, don't do it. For the simple fact that it's not going to change anything. They don't know how your baby is going to come out until it gets here. Anytime you stick something foreign inside of you, it changes the whole ball game of your whole body anytime you go under any type of okay so anytime you go under any type of surgery you guys it does change your body they going in they cutting they taking out they putting in anytime you have surgery you're changing the way your body was made so my thought first thought was initial thought was I'm gonna let you stick this needle in my belly which this sack protects your baby that's number one you know, they tell you off the bat, that sack protects your baby. So you want to stick this needle where you can go into my baby's head, my baby's eyeball, my baby's nose, just wherever, okay? Draw some doggone fluid, because they're not going to tell you. So you can do research. I'm not here to be nobody's damn guinea pig, okay? At all. That will not happen. So I was like, no, you're not going to do it. So months went on. I would go see the doctor. And it got to where I was at seven. I want to say seven months. Then he was like, well, no need for you to come anymore. Okay. Mind you, they did an ultrasound. And then the nurse was like, oh, look like the baby's not going to have no neck. I'm like, here we go again. No neck. I was so stressed out. It's like, so what? My baby head gonna be like, you know, what you mean now, neck? <laughs> he was like, well, the measurement. These people and measurements and these damn computers, as if computers don't make mistakes. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And I just want to put my story out there for some young mother, uh, for an older mother like me. Like I said, done done it again, or just a mother pray if you believe in God first of all pray first because that's way more than what them doctors can do okay I'm just being honest I pray but I worry at the same time because yes naturally you're gonna worry what can I do for my baby what can I help my baby but the best thing you can do is just sit there and let that baby continue cooking until they say so okay well I'm not they say so God says so that baby say so when that baby's ready to come out that's all you can do don't let these doctors go in there 
sticking these needles. I don't care what they say. If it ain't going to help your baby, don't do it. All this medication that they want to give women, y'all got to realize that's what's, what's wrong with the world today. All this stuff that they giving us. All the stuff that we eating is in our food. It's in every doggone thing. Okay, so it's like, let that baby continue to develop. Once it's time and when your baby gets here, make your decision then. And even then, there's no decision to make, be made because if your baby's going to have Down syndrome, there's nothing you can do. Nothing you can do to alter it. No pills, no shot, no surgery, nothing. It is what it is. So, this is just me sharing my tidbit of experience, you guys. And I just wanted to share with some, I know it's somebody probably going through the same thing that I went through. And you stressing out. Don't stress. The baby doesn't need it and you don't need it either. That baby needs you. If or if not your child is going to have Down syndrome, once again, wait until you deliver that baby and make a decision what all you need to do to help that child. Not get rid of the child, you know, because that's your baby. But do your best as a mother can do. Because that was another thing the doctor was like, well, do you want to get rid of it? Motherfucker. Like, excuse me? Oh, well, we just want to know because we don't want that to happen. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Or you want the money, the government to give y'all extra money, the state or whatever. Because believe it or not, they get a portion too. Okay? So, it's like you put your kid in all these different programs and things like that. state getting a chunk of the money. You might get some, but the state is getting a chunk of money when you're taking your child to all these different um, therapies and things that they have to do. It's helping wherever you live believe it or not so this is my thing to whoever it is i'm talking to hold on hold on if you have faith have faith i don't care what your faith may be okay i'm not here to judge nobody but hold on and make decisions when your child get here and that's to say for anything that's just anything i wish i would have came across a video like this when i was pregnant but i didn't i mean i kept coming across videos where women did have babies with down syndrome and was told and they did have them but at the same time try not to stress out because there's nothing you can do and then once again you never know because if y'all if you haven't seen my channel go back and check some of those channels if you done clicked on this video you see my daughter ain't nothing wrong with her but she bad bad and it's spoiled so that's my thing. So I hope this video helps somebody out there. Don't let these doctors dope you up with all this type of stuff. Give you all this type of medication if it's nothing that you can't get a grasp of. Try to do everything naturally yourself to the best of your ability because even after that I had um, high blood pressure and my doctor wanted to tell me, you know, of course I'm stressing out. Everything is just going and not only that, I was Starbucks was my thing. I had to have me a Starbucks all the time. And I would have me a Starbucks and Mexican food was my thing when I was pregnant with my uh, Halo, my two-year-old. And she wanted to say, well, we're going to have to put you on high blood um, pressure medication. I said, no, you ain't. I said, you can sign that paper or do whatever it is you want to do, but I ain't going to take it. Oh, you have to take it. No, I don't have to take nothing. Because I'm sitting here telling you what the deal is. I'm drinking coffee, and I just done had some Mexican food before I came here. Who in the hell pressure ain't going to be up? Like, seriously, lady. Hello. Oh, well, you need to stop eating it. No, because that's what I and this baby want. And if that's what we want, that's what we're going to get. Okay? You're not curing this baby. So you're not going to tell me what I'm going to eat and what I'm not going to eat. That's what you're not going to do. Because if she making me crazy, oh, baby, this is what we going to eat. Okay? So that's another thing, you guys. Don't let these doctors tell you and these nurses just tell you anything to throw you off your task get you to stress out get you to worry and get you to get rid of your baby all this type of things that they do 
You make your decision or whatever it may be. And when that baby gets here, do the best you can as a mother can do and get them all the help they need if they need it. Because as you guys can see, mine did not need it. So once again, I don't want to keep rambling, but I do hope this video helps somebody. I really pray that it does. And if it did, leave your comments below. Let me know what's going on with you and your pregnancy. And we can chit chat back and forth. And also, search stuff yourself. Get a second opinion. Always get a second opinion. Talk to somebody. Talk to other women. Um, that's what a lot of us are here for, believe it or not. Like I said, I really do pray that it helps somebody because something told me to do this video. So, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.